Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Made in Japan. Today we're checking out Galgun Double Piece. Yeah, this is Galgun Double Piece, which is, of course, available on the Japanese PSN, but also has a title listed on the European PSN store as well. So you can pick up this game. It does exist, but I'm almost sure it's probably been a little bit truncated and a little bit modified for a uh, Western audience, as I'm probably going to show you far too much of in this video. So just as a little warning, if you're not aware of the bizarreties of um, some of the sexual culture in Japan and uh, things that are actually a lot more comfortable over there and not so comfortable over here and could be considered mildly threatening, I'm sorry, but this is a publicly accessible game that's available to be played over here under censorship, but also exists in Japan in a demo form that I'm showing to you here. I'm flicking through basic stats that it has listed here for character details, but I'm, I'm, I don't know much about what I'm reading here. I'm assuming I'm just going to pick one that's as balanced as possible. Um, I'm assuming it covers for like style of character, studiousness, athletic ability, and sexual compatibility, which is uh, this is this has got a dating sim kind of material floating all over it. And if you've never played a dating sim before or a visual novel, this what you see right now that I am accelerating through at a massive pace is the predominant content of a visual novel. Um, this is, of course, moving forward from back in the days whenever it was a single static image that was sitting there looking at you while you were reading this. Obviously has 3D models now and cutscenes and events that happen. So this is a bit of an upgrade. Just to kind of give you an idea of what the plot of this is. This is an angel, a cupid, that's landed on Earth, has obviously been sent down to do her job and make a lucky guy or lucky girl fall in love. There's a devil there as well, so I think they're doing the whole angel demon on either shoulder, probably doing a morality choice system in this. And um, essentially this cupid messes up horribly, ends up giving your main character dude a massive double shot of love love, and now... She's depressed because she's essentially made him completely irresistible to all women. That's the plot of the game, folks. That's what we've got here. We, so essentially, he's waking up from his like knockout shot to the ground, and people are either extremely frustrated at him or they're extremely in love with him. I'm not quite too sure because they kind of like... His, he's attacked by lovely at, uh, int attentions, like people giving him love letters and stuff. And what we're meant to do in here is about scoring points with them by analyzing and looking at their uh, bust, their hip, their waist, and their legs. And we can zoom in for a closer look. And I'm, I'm mildly creeped out by the content of this, but I'm not upset by it in any way, shape, or form. I mean, this, this game really... Really <laughs> has a lot of issues with, um, I'm, I'm sure, with a, a political correctness kind of standpoint and a lot of other things. But it's it's a it's a creepy gears movie. It's um it's a voyeuristic thing. I mean, I don't understand exactly how to play this because I'm I'm pointing at people's faces and trying to get them. Um, okay, I'm not doing anything now. <laughs> Where? I mean, Am I not meant to be, like, scanning their faces as well? Because these girls obviously look, like, all flustered already. Okay, um, I'm not scanning anybody's chest or anything there whenever I held down. So zooming in, taking a closer look. Oh, okay. B. B, B. So scan, so scan whenever they're bending over? Or is it whenever I'm panning down? Right, so B is bust. That makes sense. B is bust. Um, H is height. WB waist. Oh no, HB hips and WB waist. Alright, so if I. Okay. So you can see what happens whenever you zoom in on the characters. <laughs> These are all high school age characters. I don't know what they're implying by age, but as you can see, you're uh, visually undressing as you play. Um. Yeah. Cute schoolgirls. Uniforms. White pants. Pantsu. Um, 
I don't know what I'm actually trying to say about any of this, but this is just, this is the, the weird and wonderful of the Japanese demo store. Um, obviously it kind of like almost like a unreal shooters. I've, I've knocked those girls out. So now I have to move on to the next ones. So, uh, charm and charm and charm again and get their measurements while you're at it. Of course, because if you bring a woman down to just being a number, then, <laughs> well, that's exactly all they mean, right? Jesus. Uh, yay. They're so happy to be poked with his eyes. And then they faint with delight. And this girl is stuck, kind of like, stand there watching this all happen. I mean, I, I would imagine in my head, like, there's multiple characters and multiple people in the street just kind of watching, going, like, ah, wait, 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 wait. He just made those women drop to their knees and then fade into out of existence. And. Oh, well, actually, I do like that hairstyle. And the glasses are kind of cute. What am I saying? I'm already changing my opinion of this just by watching it because of one person that popped up on it that I actually like the look of. Oh, man. They, they, these are the kind of games that actually, like, formally change your mind as you're watching them. I'm sure this gets all that little bit more predatory as the game goes on. I think this is already quite weird in itself. Let's let's fast forward a wee bit because we're finished that little bit. I mean, obviously, um, I'm probably making this worse by skipping over the story elements, which are probably explaining why these are important, who's important to whom, and um, how this is actually like related to imp people, rather than just being um, digital representations of fetishization, I suppose. So this is kind of like the boss fight of the game. Um, it's similar in the same vein as what we just watched, but whenever the characters fell down previously, we weren't kind of like paying too much attention to them. Instead, this is where you actually Gravera mode, I suppose, because I remember it, that being the 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 naming of it from uh, Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball 2, uh, that, that kind of like slightly softcore pornish element of actually like catching people while they're just relaxing um don't know what's going on i've already I've done i did brace i did breast and waist and okay oh and this is where you do the touching just to give a heads up i am playing this and i'm recording this commentary afterwards because i had to put this over the top of the screen or i had to choose to use the in-game recording of it because it is quite creepy and it does get a little bit voyeuristic, so I hammered through it as quickly as possible, touching well. Most people, whenever they're playing this, would probably take their time touching in different places to see what the girl's reaction would be and how she moves for each one of them. Not for me, thank you very much. I am going to walk away from this demo and put down my controller and wash my hands of the whole thing. Galgun Double Peace is exactly what you think it is. It's a touch witches game. It is creepy in its own way. If you want to check it out, you know where it is. You can find it. I'm going to have to go now, guys, because I love you. You love me, and I hope you'll come back after watching something like this. Um, guys, all I can say is run, run for your lives, and I will see you in the next video.